Hey man, you want to do that forecast of energy stuff that we do? Yeah, yeah, baby. All right. So my name, for y'all that don't know, my name is Shay. I get it. Sometimes I'm all over the place. It's okay. We'll get through this. Okay. It's either you want to hang or you don't. All right. But my name is Shay. Shayna Rose. Call me what you will. Call me hey you, hey girl. Um, I appreciate your love and support. I am a newfound reader. I have read cards throughout my life, all different types of cards, and um. But I put them down. My spirit guide is the Holy Spirit. I do not judge anybody. Anybody is welcome to this channel, just so you know. I was raised in witchcraft. I was not raised in um, uh, Christianity, though I live in the Americas, okay? I wanted nothing to do with that, all right? Um, I got saved at the age of 26. I am 35. Yes, so I love you. This, all right, what's the current overall energy, Holy Spirit? Hope you're doing good. How you doing? Yeah. You. Yes, you. I hope you're doing well. I, um, so I will read Terror. I'm gonna, I'm trying to find a new name, to be honest. I, I have hopes and dreams of making my own cards one day. Not my cards, but guided from God. <clears throat> um, the Terror cards are not exactly what people think they are. To be honest with you, the Archangels, God's hands on them. Uh, we can't help when people decide uh, decided long ago to abuse God's creations, just like Sage, okay? But this is the year of the Take Back, Snap Back Crew. 316, what's up? If you need some support, if you need some help talking to you, email hooks your girl up. Snap Back Crew 316 at Yahoo.com because that's what we do. That's how it's done. We always snap back, all right? The righteous will fall seven times, but he rises back up again. What happens on the eighth fall? I don't know, but um, I'm sure it's okay. God still got us sad oh no and you know to be honest i have felt this energy since i woke up like a, a energy of sadness that must go in the mighty name of jesus christ so these emotions are normal to feel okay but you have to evaluate why are you feeling them what's going on what's going on in the atmosphere to make you feel them what can you do to change okay like for me my situation i have an older son he just came here he came through a lot a lot and so, and I could feel that within him this morning. I'm like, oh no, we got to do something. So we're being proactive. We're being productive. We are, uh, you know, uh, actively seeking counseling for him, getting him situated. So when you feel things, you need to really evaluate, what is this? Is this something from my past haunting me? Because if it's from my past haunting me, it needs to go at all costs. What are we going to do to get rid of this thing? All right. I've already tried to do it by myself. It's not working. We need some extra support. There's nothing wrong with that. People mess up when they're like, I don't want to talk to a counselor. What can they do? They can maybe teach you how to not think like that. You might, if you actually, for, sometimes you got to force your things to do things that you're not, you, your body's not used to doing, that your flesh is not used to doing for you, and you get through it, and then you experience the fruit of it, okay? Just like you could be crossing through a door, because last night we had the door that popped up. Some people are right at their door, the door they've been praying for, all right? And some people are crossing through. Well, you might be nor noticing new emotions no matter how, how, Bless, you know that door is that you're that portal that you're walking through over crossing over to your prayers. It's there's still emotions with it because it's unfamiliar to you. It's not your normal. So you are going to experience emotions. And emotions can be half um sadness can be good for you, okay? But because it's it, we were created to feel these emotions, but we have to evaluate are where is it coming from is this a healthy feeling do we know how to release these feelings because if we don't we need to work on that becky brutus needs space okay so some of y'all need space maybe you have a lover or a friend that needs space all right um battle cry yeah so some of you are really crying out all right so yeah some of you need to unstick yourself all right i say all this in love all this in love, all right? You need to unstick yourself and it is possible. Maybe you need space. Maybe maybe somebody that you love needs space and you can't comprehend that because you're not used to that. So you're experiencing an overwhelming energy of sadness and you're crying out. Understand, for us to be successful for our loved ones, we need to understand when they need space because sometimes you need space, even if you don't acknowledge it. I'm somebody, I'm like, I don't need no space. And there's times I'm like, yeah, even if it's only 10 minutes stepping away, like if you have a full-blown family, even if it's only, you know, that's your life. Maybe you need 10 minutes just to step away and breathe without your boo thing and without your babies around you. That's okay. Maybe that's all you need is 10 minutes. 
and you don't even know it, right? All right, so it is possible to unstick yourself, all right? It's possible. I, I'm not going to tell you charity, love, charity. Like, if you see charity in the Bible, it means love. You have an overwhelming, uh, you also have a lot of love supporting you in this hour. Whether you see it or not, you do. I'll tell you right now, you want to be at the channel if you've done it, because I support you. <clears throat> Nobody. We have all fallen short to the glory of God. I do not care what you've done. That's not my business. That's between you and God. My business is to help lift you up. While other people are steadily trying to sit there and pull you down, talk crap about you, talk about what you do wrong, like they don't do nothing wrong and they never have, painting themselves up like Betty Crocker or Susie Homemaker or Mr. Mr. B down the street, Mr. Next Door, Mr. Rogers. You know what I'm saying? Sit down. We don't need y'all. We do not need y'all. You leave these people alone. I've been through that. Family members, they paint a picture, talk crap about everybody else, but they paint a picture for themselves. I'm like, you ridiculous. Sit down, Becky. Yeah, some of y'all have a twin flame. You could be going through separation, but they want you to know the battle is over. All right? The battle is over. There is a battle cry going on. It could be a cry of the spirit. But the battle, the battle is over. Accept it. When you pray, you pray as if you've already received. So you need to understand that you have received everything that you asked for that is good and from a pure heart. Now, if you have a wavering mind and you have an unpure heart, don't expect to get nothing of the Lord. But wavering mind, even like me, even like I can have it, it's not even so much a wavering mind, like, as in, like, um, it's okay to question. It's okay, even Job questioned. God to let Satan have authority over Job. He just wasn't allowed to kill him. And he didn't kill his wife either because two become one. So since Satan could, was told, he, they touched the children. He killed the children. But because the two are one. Because I'm like, that woman looked at her husband and said, curse God and die. And I'm like, Becky, how are you living? And I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, Satan got a job for you. Job, how you marry her? And he's the whole time, he's like, now everybody have a twin flame. We've been trying to tell you that. She wasn't no twin flame, but I still love her. <laughs> so go with the flow, my man, my girl. Go to the flow. It's all going to be okay. We are lifting you up out of there. I don't care what you've done. I don't care if you just shot up heroin. To be honest with you, I care for your health, but not enough to be like, oh, you deserve to be miserable. You deserve to be depressed. You de you get everything you deserve. Unstalando Gassino, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. You come to God's house. We are the church. You come to his house as you are. If you high on crack, if you drunk, I don't care. Only thing I care about is that you in the presence of the Lord. And that will clean, he will clean it all up. Unstalando Gassino. You don't believe me? You like the music corn? Go check out, which one is it? I don't even know his name. But Google the, the uh, corn band member that turned Christian. And he is still with the band. Ah, I hate people how they sit there and they, I had those people, I was crying out, I was on XC crying out for help, and they hanging the phone up on me, calling me, I'm worthless and stuff. You know who you is. And the bad thing is, is you probably don't even watch my video, and if you do, you know who you is, you need to fix that, you just talk shit on your sister. I'll call you out. Because we going in to get that. That stuff ain't allowed to pollute this universe. All right. Yeah, Holy Spirit is with you, man. And I'm so sorry, Holy Spirit. I'm so sorry, God. I really don't like cussing, y'all. I went four years without cussing. But when I get fired up, I get fired up. I got your bag. I got your bag. I'm so sick of people talking crap about each other. like, And then they wonder why they in a, they in a miserable state. You in a miserable state because you putting yourself there. Because you're telling everybody else they put in their self in a miserable state. That's why you sit right where you are all miserable and all beveled up and all pluffed up. And you're like, but on the inside, I'm really sad. Yeah, yeah, change. Because there is a lot of love, even for you, Karmatic. Even for and, and for the one that's hurting right now, understand there's a lot of love, and you got watchers. So the Karmics, we see everything. Holy Spirit sees everything. You can't do nothing behind Holy Spirit's back, baby. Even if you don't believe in God, you can't do nothing behind his back. And if you and if you acting out towards his children, Holy Spirit sees. The whole heavenly realm sees. We got you. Because there's a lot of pain being casted out in that hour. But we're taking it back in the mighty name of Jesus. See what I'm saying? I'll just fell out. Be brave, baby. Be brave. You got this. You got this. That's why we're here. Unstick yourself. 
And if some of y'all been wanting a lover, all right? Maybe you're, not everybody's a twin flame, all right? But for the twin flame to fall out, like, even if you're not a twin flame, maybe you're lonely, um, yeah, you're going to have a great lover, all right? But you're not going to find this lover going into a bar, shacking up with anything that's there, and then, like, oh, wake up the next morning, ooh, I'm in love with you. Like, no, it's not, it can be, and it can suck if you're used to that kind of lifestyle. I get it. But that's not how you're going to find a good partner. I'm just being honest, because they got a lot of healing to do, and you still do, if that's where you're hooking up from each other. Now, God can work miracles in every situation. I'm not going to say that. Be, so, things could happen, but don't be going up in a bar looking for a partner. You crazy. I mean, if you want a one-night fling, if you want a hoe, by all means, go on here. Go, go and get you that little flimsy thing. Flimsy thing ain't going to stay around. Flimsy thing's going to be yearning for that next pickle to go up in her pickle jar after a few months of a... Uh, because the world got love twisted for lust. So once her lustful needs are, uh, when she realized, and he, his lustful needs are uh, kicking through because they never know, they didn't know what love was to begin with. They're going to be looking for that next pickle jar to go into or that next pickle to fit into the pickle jar. Okay, cupcake. Alright, yeah, you have, you have a lover coming through if you've been wanting that. Now, take the messages as they come. Maybe you're not sad. Maybe you know somebody's sad. I'm experiencing that. Okay, I got to do what I have. I can to help them. And this is just validation. If you've been feeling that somebody's sad, they're sad. And we got to do what we can to lift them out. Uchlando, Gassino, Uchlain, Uchlain. All right, so just breathe, my friend. Just breathe. It's going to be okay. Holy Spirit, anything else? I got to hurry up. I got it. Well, I'm not, I'm not rushing nothing, but I got some things I got to do. I get my baby taken care of. I start my job. Ah, see, yeah, you stuck. Told you. Some of y'all stuck. You know why you suck? Because it's your time. And so everything coming against you try to make you, um, you know. But yeah, so it's time to go. <clears throat> All right, so understand there is an energy of sadness going on, okay? Somebody is having a battle cry. They are crying out for help. Even if they don't know it, they're crying in the spiritual realm. All right, they are stuck. You could be stuck, all right? Unstick yourself, all right? Because the battle is over. You may need space. Uh, somebody you care for may need space. You don't understand this, but understand that space is needed, okay? So be brave, all right? Just breathe, all right? Understand that a lot of things are going on because it's your time. It's your time. If, you want, if you've been praying for a lover, it's your time, all right? Just watch. We have watchers. Holy Spirit is watching everything. Holy Spirit is watching your pain. Anything that anybody's doing around you, the Heavenly Team see with it. Don't worry about it. They got you covered with love, so go with the flow, all right? Charity is another form. They got you covered with a strong sense of love. Even some of y'all are wakening up to being a twin flame, or you already understand that you are a twin flame, or this is significant to somebody that's been praying for a lover. You got it, baby. You got it. Believe, believe, and receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All right? So I love you, and yeah! Woo! Gotta get up out of here! Man, you better lift those vibrations, living in low vibrations. What's wrong with you? Get up. Get up. Even if it's going to the bathroom, I didn't want some music. Get up. I know it's like, I've met people, they stay in the bed. I used to stay in the bed all the time. Felt like I wanted to pee myself. I wouldn't pee myself, though. But I didn't sure felt like I wanted to. And understand something. It's okay to need help. It's okay. If you can make a phone call, if you have insurance, call in. If it's really that bad for you, call into your insurance, especially if you have state insurance. There are people out there that they will come to you. All you need to do is explain to them that I have very bad social anxiety. I'm very depressed. I can't even move out of my bed. And I need help. I need support. Please help me. Please send somebody to help me. I need help. I am trying to help myself. And if you get some wretched old rich on the phone first, you, you go to their supervisor. You have to speak to their supervisor. You explain your heart. Okay. Wish the land of Lord Jesus Christ we lift up the viewer. If the viewer is suffering any extreme depression, we block off anybody in the mighty name of Jesus that is trying to come through and to hinder their path to get through and to get the help that they need. We block them off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, if it's okay, I ask you to send out Michael and send out Michael to put a strong sword down on all the enemy lines. Cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to where only peace, love, grace, harmony surround this individual in this hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that you protect this viewer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We seal them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No, no evil can breach the system in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If anything is in this vessel, under the sound of my voice, you are being exposed. Anything that deals with witchcraft, you are being 
being exposed, you are to come to surface. If the individual must get sick, let them get sick. Unscalando esta line under the sound of my uh, under my voice and the sound of the snapping of my fingers. You must leave. You must go in peace. You are not allowed to torment torment this vessel anymore. You have been called out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be gone in peace. Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you for everything that you have done for us and to keep keeping us when people let us go, keeping us when we wanted to let ourselves go. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you and we lift up these heavenly vibrations. We bring down the heavenly vibrations. We put them all around the world, Lord. We send out vibrations of love, of trust, of harmony, of peace surrounding your people in this hour. Unscalando y safandos. And help the ones that do not understand you to see you, to see, to turn to you, to leave their wicked ways, and to truly turn to you. Only you know the measure of a man's heart, Lord. That is your job. Unscalando y safandos. And I seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you. I hope you have a good day. It will be a good day. Ain't no pain allowed here. Ain't no pain, ain't no pain. All right? So, we gotta be okay. Look, I got a lot I gotta do today, too, man. I gotta, I gotta calm down, too. Because sometimes we're gonna be so excited. Like, I'm very zealous, but I have to have fine balance. It's okay to be zealous. It's okay to be enthusiastic. It's okay to be optimistic. We are allowed to be those things. God wants us to be those things, all right? But we do have to find balance because we can go, 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 and then crash, 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 and we wonder what happened. But we are so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not no mental disorder. I don't believe in mental disorders, okay? And I used to get treated for mental disorders until I found something, all right? And, but I do not hate on anybody. Maybe medication is there to give you a boost, all right? It gives you a boost not to be on until the day you die. It gives you a boost to help lift you out of your issue, to help you that extra umph. And then you let it go. And you fly, bird, fly all on your own. Because that's what you're created to do. Not alone on the spiritual sense. And we were created for companionship. But the right ones understand. I love you. God bless you.